So what are you doing here? Elijah. Look at your neighbor and say, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What brought you here? <laughs> how did you get here? Tell somebody, ask your, ask your neighbor, how did you get here? What brought you here? Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. The Bible says that Jezebel said about this time tomorrow, you're going to be a dead man. About 24 hours from now, you're going to be a dead man. She spoke against his tomorrow. Come on. She spoke against his future. Yeah. <laughs> How many of you in here, the enemy is speaking to you about your future? Talking to you about your future and what it is that he wants to do. How he's going to kill your future. Come on. How he's going to sabotage your future. Come on. How he has a satanic calendar and he's filling it out. <laughs> How did you get here? got there because the enemy had spoken against his future. Look at this. Look at this. The Bible says the Bible says that she sent a messenger and but verse 3 says and when he saw that okay y'all didn't get it. I said when he saw that when he saw that, in other words, when he began to see his future as a dead man. Come on, somebody. I don't know if y'all get this. When he began to see what it was that the enemy was saying instead of seeing what it was that, that God was saying. <laughs> when he began to see that this is what the enemy got for me. Sometimes what the enemy is saying can become bigger than what it is that God is saying. Amen, amen. <laughs> so when he saw it, come on. Because mm -hmm. our problem sometimes is that we keep on looking at what it is that the devil is saying and not what it is that God is saying. Amen. And so when he, he saw it, the Bible says that he ran. Yes. To get in the back up. Thank you, son. Hallelujah. Somebody say he ran. He ran. He ran. Look at the back up. Look at your neighbor and say, are you backing up? Because of what it is that the enemy is saying. Are you running, amen, for your life? Because of what it is that the enemy is saying. Are you so busy looking at what it is that the enemy is saying? Come on. That you are running for your life. That you are allowing the enemy, come on, to isolate you. All right. Because the Bible says, what are you running to, Lord? Right. Well, I was well, missing you. <laughs> you have moved out the corner there. Read. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life and came to Beersheba. Uh-huh. Read. Which belongeth to Judah. Uh-huh. And left his servant there. Now here, here he has an out. He has an out. Oh, glory to God. He has an out. Because he goes to Beersheba. Beersheba, it means a uh, place of oath. An oath is an agreement. There was an agreement made between, I believe it was Abraham and Abimelech. And so, I uh, praise God and, and, and also, uh, and hold up son, this, that's enough. Hallelujah. I don't want to get, get too slowed up here. I might have to start preaching, so I might have to shift gears. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, wait on me though. <laughs> Place of oath, oath. Come on. An agreement. Come on. An agreement was made here. Amen. At a well. And so uh, uh, this is what Bersheba means. But it was all it also uh, the Bible says it was in Judah. Come on. Come on. Because let me show you something. Uh, uh, there's always an out when you're going down a road that you shouldn't be going down. Come on. 
when you're going into uh, depression and oppression. There's always God always have an avenue of escape. Come on, somebody. Oh, glory to God. And so here he is because the Bible says that God has given us what? The garment of praise for what? The spirit of heaviness. Come on. When, when sometimes things are weighing on you and sometimes things are heavy upon you. Amen, somebody. And so he has an out. He has the ability to praise his way. Come on. Out of this thing. Oh, glory to God. Wait on me, son. I ain't ready yet. Don't push me. Don't push me. Hallelujah. He, he, because sometimes when the enemy seems to be hot on our trail, come on, we try to uh, go back to and remember what it is that God has promised us. Yes, come on. Yes. Things that God has said unto us. And so here he is. He's going back to a, a place of an oath. Come on. Yeah. He's going back to a, a place of praise. Sometimes, amen, we're, he's trying to praise his way out of yes, this thing. Yes. And so read, daughter. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. But the Bible says that he kept on running. Come on. He kept on backing up. He kept on. <laughs> You're not a dodge. Oh, glory to God. Because of what? What was spoken against what? His future. I know the devil has plans for your future. I mean, oh, but God has a plan Amen. for your future. Yes. The Bible yes. says that, that I know the thoughts that I think towards you, uh, uh, good and not evil, to bring you to what? An expected end. <laughs> this is why David said, oh, magnify the Lord. Sometimes you got to magnify. you got to blow God up. Come on, somebody. you got to stick your spiritual yes. magnifying yes. glass yes. towards God and look at him in his true light. Yes. Okay. All right. So it keeps... He keeps uh, running. The Bible says that, that he goes and he uh, not only uh, he's running, but he isolates himself. Because one of the things that the enemy wants to do sometimes is isolate you. Come on. Separate you. Get you all by yourself. Get you trying to fight this battle without anybody else. Come on. Oh, glory to God. Without your prayer partners. Amen. You just in it on your own. Come on, somebody. You stop, you stop going to church. Come on. Stop reading your Bible. He's isolating you. Come on. Why? Because he's trying to destroy you. He's trying to make the words that he's spoken about your life come to pass. Come on, somebody. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm all out there by myself on this one. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. And so, the Bible says that that he he, he went a journey's day into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die and said, it is enough. Anybody's ever been there? Anybody tell me, you said it's enough. Yeah. I'm sick of this mess. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of these folks. Come on. Yeah. You want to throw in the towel. Yeah. You want to quit. Come on. Yeah. I'm sick of these folks on my job. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's it. You have the nerves to say now. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. And what else did he say, daughter? Take away my life. Take away my life. Now look, now look, look at this, look at this. Because now he's speaking what the enemy has spoken. Wow. He's speaking, come on. Because Jezebel said it, and now all of a sudden he's saying what Jezebel has said. Come on. Okay, all right, let me make it this way. The devil said it. And now, all of a sudden, he's saying what the devil is saying. Come on. Oh, glory to God. Because sometimes we have more faith in what the devil is saying than what we got in what God is saying. Okay, all right. All right, I feel my preach coming on now. Okay, all right. So now he's saying, you know, you know how it is when, when you haven't had no money in so long, and now you start saying, I ain't got no money. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> My author writers, come on, you owning it now. The devil said, I'm giving it to you, you got it, and you now you accepting it. Come on. You calling it by name. You 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 giving it a name. You calling it author. Come on. You have digressed. Come on, you have digressed to the point that now you're speaking the language of the enemy. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh 
Glory to God. <laughs> I'm warming up, son. Oh, glory to God. And so, anybody get this? Y'all seeing this? Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. So, the Bible said he's, he's sound because there are men and women of God, come on, that are sitting down, throwing in the towel, quitting. Come on, somebody. Oh, glory to God. Because of what it is that the enemy is saying. He spoke against your future. Come on. Come on. And instead of you writing your own calendar, yeah. instead of you saying the devil is a liar, yeah. greater is he that sent me than he that is in the world. Come on. I, I, glory to God. God is bringing me before great men. Come on. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened me. Yeah. Tell somebody I'm about to write out my own calendar. Come on. I'm about to write out my own calendar. The devil is a liar. Yes, yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. No more of this. Me, me, me. All right. Some of you all need to go home now. And who all got a calendar? Yeah. Go home and get your calendar and write you a verse of scripture. This is your homework assignment. Write you a verse of scripture on every day. Come on, for the rest of this month. Yeah. I want you to get used to writing out your own calendar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me, yeah, me. Okay, all right. <coughs> sat down. You're on it, man. You're on it, man. He sat down. And requested for himself that he might die. He said, it's enough now. Back up. Oh, glory to God. Oh, Lord, take away my life. For I am not any better or not better than my father's. Now he's comparing himself. <laughs> now he's comparing himself to other folks. And other folks' failures. Come on. Oh, glory to God. And they're dead. And he's comparing himself to dead folks. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> wow. Stay on it, See, the devil will isolate you. Go back up. Stay on it. And then he'll have you looking at what other folks are doing. Come on. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to on the camera? You're looking at other folks' ministry on TV. Come on. And you you are comparing what it is that's going on in your life or what's going on on television. Amen, somebody. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Look at this. Y'all seeing this? Because I want you to see, how did you get here, Elijah? Come on. You started running. Come on. You started isolating yourself. You started speaking against your own future. Come on. Now the devil doesn't shut up. Come on. Oh, glory to God. He doesn't shut his mouth. Why? Because he got you doing, oh, glory to God, what he was, what he was, what he was saying. Oh, glory to God. Got you comparing yourself. <laughs> Woo! To what other folks are doing. Anybody getting this? Yeah. Hallelujah. Anybody see what it is that the Lord is saying? Yeah. Oh, glory to God. And so the Bible says, uh, 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 where were we, daughter? The Bible says that, that verse 5, read. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree. And as he lay and slept. Come on, he laid down. And he slept. I mean, there's a difference between uh, sleeping and slumber. Okay, all right. I know when my wife is sleeping and when she's slumbering. Oh, glory to God. When, when she's asleep and she's getting Aziz on, I can walk around the room and make noise and, 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 and she, it don't bother her because she's asleep. Come on. But when she's slumbering, this morning I came in the room and I thought I was walking lightly and she was looking at me like if you don't get up out of here because she was slumbering slumbering is a light sleep come on but there are folks that have laid down come on there are, there are folks in the body of christ preachers in the body of christ come on they have sat down and they have laid down come on somebody they have quit on god not on not on themselves but they've quit on god Right. I mean, you know, the Bible says that. Let's go to. Let's go there. I mean, you know, the Bible says that that Eli. Come on, the Bible says that Eli had laid down. Come on, in his place. I'm not talking about a a, a, a a geographical location, but I'm talking about what a spiritual location. Okay, all right. I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm talking about where where you have an assignment to take care of business on a certain spiritual level. Come on, you a gatekeeper. A gatekeeper over your city, a gatekeeper over your county, a gatekeeper, oh glory to God, over your neighborhood, over your home, and you have laid down, you have sat down. 
Oh, glory to God. Oh, God. The Bible says that his eyes grew dim. Come on. His eyes grew dim. Oh, glory to God. You sit out on God, your eyes, you're going to see less. Come on. Oh, glory to God. You're going to do less. Oh, glory to God. But God was raising up a new order of priests. Come on. God was raising up a Samuel. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God was raising up a, a prophet. Come on. Because one of the things that the body of Christ has done, they put the prophet on the back seat. Come on. We don't want to hear what you got to say. Come on. We know you ain't the mouthpiece of God. Oh, glory to God. Tell somebody the devil is a liar. <laughs> Woo. Look at, Eli. Look at Eli. Look at Eli. We find Eli before he died. The Bible says that he was uh, sitting in the gate. Come on. A gate is a place of coming and going. Come on. The Bible says that, that the gates of hell should not what? Prevail against you. The gates of hell should not win. Come on. In other words, God was saying that you have the ability to stand at the gate and call some shots and control some stuff. Come on. Some of y'all sons and daughters on their way to hell. Come on, somebody. But you can stand at the gate and say, no, nah, devil, it ain't happening. You are not going to win. Don't worry God. All right. <laughs> this is why we have gatekeepers. We have keepers of the gate. Oh, glory to God. In the Old Testament, they were, they were assigned officers at the gate. Come on. And whoever they said could come in, could come in. And whoever they said couldn't come in, couldn't come in. Come on. Tell somebody I'm a gatekeeper. I'm a keeper of the gate. Come on. I keep some gates. Hallelujah. So. And so, here we are. Uh, the Bible says that Eli... He was sitting in the gate. And when he heard the news, come on, he fell down backwards yes. and broke his neck. Come on. And, and, and how many know when a neck is broken, it's like saying that the head has been disconnected from the body. Yes. And yes. God is disconnecting some leaders from the body. Come on, somebody. Yes. Okay, all right. I might as well say Might as well say what the Lord has been dealing with me about since the uh, end of last year. But God is raising up a new order. Come on. Amen. Of leaders. Amen, somebody. Amen. Oh, glory to God. All right. All right. All right. And so, ah, so the Bible says that he laid down and he slept and read, daughter. Behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. Uh huh. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake baking on the coals. Get up and eat. Get up and eat. Come on. Get up and eat. Oh, glory to God. And the Bible says there was a, a cake baking on the coals. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Because sometimes you need to be fed. Sometimes the enemy is, is uh, feeding upon you, oppressing you, fighting against you. Your focus is on what it is that the enemy is saying. And so God has to give you some bread. Come on, somebody. And, I, and I'm talking about hot bread. I'm talking about fresh bread. Give you a fresh revelation. Come on. Oh, glory to God. But read, daughter, what happened? And a cruise of water at his head. Uh-huh. And he did eat and drink. And he laid down again. Come on, after he ate and drank, the Bible says that he laid down again. The Bible says that the angels... Uh, the angel said, you got to eat this food because guess what? The journey is too great for you. Because guess what? He had been on a journey. I don't know what a journey means. A journey means to go from one place to another place. And when you look at what was going on, that's exactly what was happening. He was going from one place to another place. Come on, somebody. He was, he was running. Amen. He ran and he ran to Judah. Come on. Oh, glory to God. And then after that, he went into the wilderness. And after, in other words, you see this here? He's going from one place. He's on a journey. Whether he realized it or not, there's a lot of people, come on, in the body of Christ, come on, that's on a journey yes. and don't even realize it. Amen. The Bible says that uh, he spent 40 days traveling. Mm -hmm. 40 days and 40 nights yeah. traveling. Amen. To 
a cave. Oh, glory to God. Let me show you something. Hallelujah. It's amazing how God will still use you. Because days, you have days and, and when it seems like you're, you're doing good and then you have nights. You have day seasons and you have night seasons. Come on. Uh, 40, 40 is the number that represents a season. Come on. Sometimes we're in something for a season, but what happened? Go to read. We got to get moving. And he came to the unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord come to him. And he said unto him, What doest thou here, what Elijah? What are you doing here, Elijah? How did you get here? Read. And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with I the sword. I didn't ask you all of that. I asked, what are you doing here? Because you're trying to defer the attention of what it is that I'm asking you. Come on. Uh, 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 away on somebody else. But I'm asking you, what are you doing here? How did you get here? Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Read, daughter. And I, even I only, am left. Uh -huh. And they seek my life to take it away. Uh-huh. See, he's still saying what it is. He's still focused on his life. It's not about your life. Come on. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Read. I have time to go down that road. And he Read. said, go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And behold, the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind rent the mountains uh -huh. and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. Read. But the Lord was not in the wind. Oh, what in this? Read. And after the wind, an earthquake but the Lord was not in the Lord earthquake. Wasn't in that either. Read. And after the earthquake of fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. There's a lot of things that we're doing in the body of Christ that God is not in it. That's it. I'm going to say it again. There's a lot of things that we're doing in the body of Christ, in the church, that God ain't in it. Come on, somebody. Oh, glory to God. You know what, except what caused. Uh, uh, Esther to be accepted is that she wasn't trying to figure out what it was that the king liked. When it was her turn to uh, go and see if she qualified to be the queen, uh, she went to the king's uh, officer, his right hand man, and said, I don't know what it is that the king likes. Okay, let me help you all out. It's a picture of how we should go to the Holy Ghost. Come on. And say, I don't know what it is that you like, God. Come on. I don't know. Come on. What you want us to sing today. Come on. I don't know. I'm not going to pick out my favorite song. I don't know what you want me to pray for when I get the prayer beat. Come on. I don't know what you want. Oh, glory to God. And, and so in other words, in other words, this is what qualified her, come on, to become the queen. Come on. This is what qualifies you to be the church of God or the church of God. Yes. Putting our agendas aside. <laughs> is that all right? Yes. Oh, glory to God. How did you get here? Some of the stuff that you're doing, all the stuff you're doing, I ain't even in it. All this running that you're doing, I ain't even in it. You can run yourself to death. Amen. And think that you're working for God. Yes. Come on. You're doing something for God. Yes. Read. Daughter. And after the fire, a still small voice. Years ago, I was not willing to pay the cost uh, when I would be out and shopping for suits and and uh, because I was just getting started in the ministry and I wasn't willing to pay the cost and so I found myself running back and forth trying to catch it on sale, trying to catch it on clearance, on the clearance rack and in the end, in the end, I paid more for the suit just as much as I would have paid if I would have bought it off the rack. Why? Because I found myself having to go to the tailor and, and having it uh, 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 measured and, and cut and, and just shape and fit me because when I usually when something hits the clearance rack, it's, you know, you got to go with what's on the clearance rack and sometimes your size is not on the clearance rack. And so I paid more in the end. It cost me just as much. And that's the way sin is. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. 
The Bible says that sin has its pleasure, but only for a season. I want to challenge you to pay the cost today and to give your life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Repeat after me, dear Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I am a sinner and I need a Savior. And I invite you into my life today. I'm going to pray and believe God that he's going to send you to a church that's going to help you to grow and to uh, empower you and mobilize you to impact society. My my name is Pastor Thomas Robinson of Victory International Praise. You'll find our information at the bottom of the screen, how you can get in touch with us. We love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. You heard the voice of God. You want to know why God sometimes got to put you to sleep. Come on, because you in love with noise. Amen, somebody. And so read, daughter. We're just about finished. Let's, let's wrap this up. Re read. And it was so, when Elijah had heard it, <laughs> that he wrapped his face in his mantle uh -huh. and went out. And stood in the entering Apparently in. He had ran back into the cave when, when all of this stuff was going on. But the Bible says he went out and he went back what? Into the, uh, uh, to what? The entrance of the cave. Come on, now he's at the entrance or a doorway. Come on. In other words, it represents a place of transitioning. Because I'm wrapping it up with what God was doing. God was transitioning his ministry. Come on, somebody. Here he is. He's thinking that God was finished with him. And God was saying, I ain't finished with you, boy. Come on, somebody. I got more work for you to do. <laughs> there's some folks out there oh glory to God no you're not the Eli's but there's some folks out there you're listening to this broadcast oh glory to God guess what God is still going to use you come on God is transitioning you you're getting ready to empower the next generation come on because God gave Elijah a new assignment God said I want you to go lay hands on some folks I want you to go and empower some folks this next generation. I want you to go and get them ready and teach them. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So there are folks, praise God, that God is raising up in this dispensation that God has set aside for such a time as this. Come on, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, God ain't finished with me. Amen. 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 It's been a blessing to you. We want to ask you to partner with us in the ministry and help us to take this gospel to the four corners of the earth. You'll see at the bottom of the screen, VIP Ministries at att.net. VIP Ministries at att.net. And even as you give, I pray in the name of Jesus that the heavens are open and you walk under an open heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.